Senate Concurrent Resolution 91 by Senator Steinberg relative to Autism Awareness Month. Okay. Thank you very much, Mr. President. This resolution calls for the month of April to be proclaimed as Autism Awareness Month. And this is an opportunity for us to not only educate ourselves, but continue down the path of action to both find the cures for autism and autism spectrum disorders, and to provide more effective care and treatment for those living with the disorder. As you know, autism now affects one in every 100 children. California is adding 13 children a day, seven days a week, with full syndrome autism to the DDS system. The Senate is hard at work through a bipartisan select committee on autism and related disorders. We will hold a hearing next week, April the 13th, to listen to the work of 12 regional task forces which have been hard at work looking at how even in these difficult economic times, we can continue to push forward to make sure that autism and autism spectrum disorders get the attention that the children and the families deserve. Urge and I vote. Debate or discussion? Debate or discussion? Senator Leno. Thank you, Mr. President. I just want to add my voice in support of this resolution. And also, I think we all owe the pro tem a bit of thanks for suggesting that each of us in our own regions establish our own task forces. And I know that we're doing this on both sides of the aisle. We've got about 50 different participants in our own San Francisco Marin Autism Regional Task Force in our area. And this is made up of parents and other family members, grandparents, aunts and uncles, educators, service providers, all of those who have been engaged in this field as the phenomenon of the autism and spectrum disorder continues to grow at a significant rate. I think when I first arrived here in Sacramento just a few years ago, the figure we used was about one in 150 children would experience this horrible disease. Now we hear one in 100, and in fact it's more prevalent in boys, one in 51. So we don't yet understand what causes this, disrupts families in significant ways, can be very expensive of course as well. We're trying to deal with all the many aspects of it. That's what these task forces are dealing with, to be support to families, to be support to these young children, to get in early intervention so that there is the hope that every aspect and fulfillment of their lives can be attained. So I just want to join in support of this resolution, ask for your I vote. Thank you, Senator Leno. Senator Wolk. Thank you, Mr. President. I'm writing, rising in support of this resolution. Um, I, have, uh, con I am uh, convening the North Bay uh, Autism Regional Task Force, Solano and Napa counties, and uh, want to thank the pro tem for bringing this forward. Uh, during the past six months, uh, parents, community members have been working very hard, despite the difficult economic times, to come up with some very practical suggestions that we might put into effect and would ease um, the uh, dramatic crisis. Uh, that we're all facing with respect to autism. And I want to express my deep appreciation to them. There are an extraordinary number of people, parents, community members, who have been working very hard uh, over uh, uh, several months uh, to come up with these uh, ideas. So I urge support for this resolution. Thank you. Senator Correa. Thank you, Mr. President. I just want to add my support to this resolution. And I also want to thank the... Uh, the state's post commission for coming up with an excellent training program for first responders or officers that come to a scenes where there are autistic individuals on how to identify this disease and how to address individuals with autism as they come into contact with them. Again, I ask for an I vote in this most important measure. For the debate or discussion, Senator Pavley. 
Yes, thank you very much. Um, I'm proud to be a member of the Senate Select Committee on Autism and as a parent with a son who has autism, I know this issue uh, all too well. What I wanted to bring up is just two uh, areas of concern that I have. One is uh, federal funding for full inclusion in a classroom of developmentally and physically disabled children is far less than promised. 40% uh, of the funding for our state is supposed to come from the federal government to uh, make sure that these children have fair and equal access to a quality education. We are now getting about 15% of the funding. So I think that's something we should work on collaboratively uh, in the years ahead. The other issue I wanted to bring to your attention is we're focusing with better identification of early diagnosis of children with autism so that early intervention measures can make a difference in their lives. I wanted to bring to you my real concern about uh, children that are out of the school system. They're young adults now in their 20s and 30s. And um, the importance of providing meaningful work experience as we're cutting uh, regional center programs that are providing job training to these young adults and also the growing need there's going to be for independent living skills and, and places for people to live uh, independently from their parents, because uh, I'll tell you as a, a parent, one of the uh, things that keep parents of autistic kids awake at night is knowing you're not gonna outlive your children. So uh, the state has a role to play in this, um, this new phenomena that wasn't around 30 years ago but uh, Senator, Senate Pro Tem Steinberg is exactly right. About one out of every 110 children now are diagnosed with autism. I urge your support for this resolution. Is there further debate or discussion? Further debate or discussion? Senator Cedillo. I just want to add my voice to, to the call for support. Uh, as California diversifies, as changing demographics become part of our complexion, so do the adverse impacts of diseases like autism. And they have a particular challenge to those in underserved uh, and under-resourced under uh, communities. It's important for us to, to do all that we can to address this. Uh, my office has had th this impact, and we will work uh, with others, colleagues on the floor, leaders in our community, and particularly in my district, we uh, acknowledge the support that we get from the Mexican consulate, their offices, their infrastructure, uh, from the Latino media, from the Spanish speaking media, to address this uh, concern for uh, the Latino, Spanish speaking, and immigrant communities of California. I ask for your support on this measure as well. Further debate or discussion, members? All debate having ceased. Members, is there any objection to substituting the unanimous roll call? Seeing and hearing none. Ayes 34, no zero. The resolution is adopted. Members, that will take us to 